Pierre Maurice Marie Duhem, the 9th of June 1861 to 14 September 1916, was a French physicist, mathematician, historian, and philosopher of science. Best known for his writings on the indeterminacy of experimental criteria and on scientific development in the Middle Ages. Duhem also made major contributions to the science of his day, particularly in the fields of hydrodynamics, elasticity, and thermodynamics. Philosophy Duhem's views on the philosophy of science are explicated in his 1906 work The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory. In this work, he opposed Newton's statement that the Principia's law of universal mutual gravitation was deduced from phenomena, including Kepler's second and third laws. Newton's claims in this regard had already been attacked by critical proof analyses of the German logician Leibniz and then most famously by Immanuel Kant. Following Hume's logical critique of induction, but the novelty of Duhem's work was his proposal that Newton's theory of universal mutual gravity flatly contradicted Kepler's laws of planetary motion because the interplanetary mutual gravitational perturbations caused deviations from Keplerian orbits. Since no proposition can be validly logically deduced from any it contradicts, according to Duhem, Newton must not have logically deduced his law of gravitation directly from Kepler's laws. Duhem's name is given to the underdetermination or duhem quine thesis, which holds that for any given set of observations there is an innumerably large number of explanations. It is, in essence, the same as Hume's critique of induction. All three variants point at the fact that empirical evidence cannot force the choice of a theory or its revision. Possible alternatives to induction are Duhem's instrumentalism and Popper's thesis that we learn from falsification. As popular as the Duhem Quine thesis may be in the philosophy of science. In reality Pierre Duhem and Willard van Orman Quine stated very different theses. Pierre Duhem believed that experimental theory in physics is fundamentally different from fields like physiology and certain branches of chemistry. Also Duhem's conception of theoretical group has its limits, since not all concepts are connected to each other logically. He did not include at all a priori disciplines such as logic and mathematics within these theoretical groups in physics which can be tested, experimentally. Quine, on the other hand, conceived this theoretical group as a unit of a whole human knowledge. To Quine, even mathematics and logic must be revised in light of recalcitrant experience, a thesis that Duhem never held, a quote of Duhem on physics. A theory of physics is not an explanation, it is a system of mathematical propositions, deduced from a small number of principles, which have for their aim to represent as simply, as completely and as exactly as possible, a group of experimental laws. Opposition to the English inductivist tradition Duhem argues that physics is subject to certain methodological limitations that do not affect other sciences. In his The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory, Duhem provided a devastating critique of Baconian crucial experiments. According to this critique, an experiment in physics is not simply an observation, but rather an interpretation of observations by means of a theoretical framework. Furthermore, no matter how well one constructs one's experiment, it is impossible to subject an isolated single hypothesis to an experimental test. Instead, it is a whole interlocking group of hypotheses, background assumptions, and theories that is tested. This thesis has come to be known as confirmation holism. This inevitable holism, according to Duhem, renders crucial experiments impossible. More generally, Duhem was critical of Newton's description of the method of physics as a straightforward deduction from facts and observations. In the appendix to the aim and structure, entitled Physics of a Believer, Duhem draws out the implications that he sees his philosophy of science as having for those who argue that there is a conflict between physics and religion. 
He writes, metaphysical and religious doctrines are judgments touching on objective reality, whereas the principles of physical theory are propositions relative to certain mathematical signs stripped of all objective existence. Since they do not have any common term, these two sorts of judgments can neither contradict nor agree with each other. Nonetheless, Duhem argues that it is important for the theologian or metaphysician to have detailed knowledge of physical theory in order not to make illegitimate use of it in speculations. History of Science Duhem is well known for his work on the history of science, which resulted in the ten-volume Le Système du Monde, Histoire des Doctrines Cosmologiques de Platonic Copernic. Unlike many former historians, who denigrated the Middle Ages, he endeavored to show that the Roman Catholic Church had helped foster Western science in one of its most fruitful periods. His work in this field was originally prompted by his research into the origins of statics, where he encountered the works of medieval mathematicians and philosophers such as John Buridan, Nicole Osmer and Roger Bacon, whose sophistication surprised him. He consequently came to regard them as the founders of modern science, having in his view anticipated many of the discoveries of Galileo Galilei and later thinkers. Duhem concluded that the mechanics and physics of which modern times are justifiably proud to proceed by an uninterrupted series of scarcely perceptible improvements from doctrines professed in the heart of the medieval schools, Duhem popularized the concept of saving the phenomena. In addition to the Copernican Revolution debate of saving the phenomena versus offering explanations that inspired Duhem was Thomas Aquinas, who wrote, regarding eccentrics and epicycles, that reason may be employed in two ways to establish a point. Firstly, for the purpose of furnishing sufficient proof of some principle, reason is employed in another way, not as furnishing a sufficient proof of a principle, but as confirming an already established principle, by showing the congruity of its results, as in astronomy the theory of eccentrics and epicycles is considered as established because thereby the sensible appearances of the heavenly movements can be explained, not, however, as if this proof were sufficient, for as much as some other theory might explain him. Thermodynamics Duhem is also known for his work in thermodynamics, being in part responsible for the development of what is known as the Gibbs-Duhem relation and the duhem margulis equation. Duhem thought that from the first principles of thermodynamics physicists should be able to derive all the other fields of physics, e.g., chemistry, mechanics, and electromagnetism. Duhem, influenced by McCorn Rankin's Outlines of the Science of Energetics, carried out this project in Traité de l'Energetique but was unable to subject electromagnetism to thermodynamic first principles. With the physicist, philosopher and historian of science Ernst Mach, Duhem also shared a skepticism with regard to the existence of atoms, works, le potential thermodynamic cases applications à la mécanique chimique et à la étude des phénomènes électriques. Paris, A. Hermann, de l'imantation par influence, sous de propositions dans par la faculté. Paris, Gauthier Villers et Fils, cause de physique mathématique et de cristallographie de la faculté des sciences de Lille, Paris, A. Hermann, Lekin sur la électricité et le magnétisme, Paris, Gauthier Villers et Fils, tome I, tome II, tome III, Introduction à la mécanique chimique, Paris, G. Carra, sur les déformations permanentes et l'hysteresis. Brussels, IMPR, De Hayes, Les Terres de la Chaleur, Théorie thermodynamique de la viscosité, du frottement et des faux équilibres chimiques, Paris, A. Hermann, Traité élémentaire de mécanique chimique fondée sur la thermodynamique, Paris, A. Hermann, Les Mélanges doubles, Static et chimique générale des systèmes hétérogènes. Faux equilibres et explosions. Le mix de la combinaison chimique. 
Essai sur l'évolution d'un IDE acuité. Paris. C. N. A. U. D. Les Terres électriques de J. Clark Maxwell. Etude historique et critique. Paris. A. Herman. Thermodynamique et chimie. Lecons élémentaires de l'usage des gymnastes. Paris. A. Herman. Recherches sur hydrodynamique. Paris. Gauthier Villiers. Les origines de la statiquette. Paris. A. Herman. Tome I. Tome II. L'évolution de la mécanique. Paris. Herman. La théorie physique. Son objet. Sa structure. Paris. Chevalier and Riviera, Recherches sur la elasticité, Paris, Gauthier Villiers, Etude sur Leonard da Vinci, CEUXQULLS, CEUXQ Lontelou, 3 volume, Paris, A. Herman, Premier Serie, CEUXQULLU A CEUXQ Lontelou, 1906, Dexima Seri Les Precursors Parisiens de Galilée, 1913. Josiah Willard Gibbs, A Propos de la Publication de Ses Memoirs Scientifiques. Paris, A. Herman. Sauver les Phénomenes. Essay sur la notion de théorie physique de Platon à Galilée. Paris, A. Herman. Le Mouvement Absolu et le Mouvement Relatif. Paris, INPR. Library de Montligen. Traité d'énergétique. Paris. Gauthier Villiers. Tome I. Tome II. Le système du monde. Histoire des doctrines cosmologiques de Platon à Copernic. Tome I. Tome II. Tome III. Tome IV. Tome V. Tome VI. Tome VII. Tome VIII. Tome IX. Tome X. La science allemande. Paris. A. Herman. Articles. La Valle de la Théorie Physique, Journal de Mathe Mathiques Pures et Appliques, Vol. 19, pp. 7-19. C.E.K. Londis Oït des Indices Occidentaux Avant Christophe Colomb, Journal de Mathe Mathiques Pures et Appliques, Vol. 19, pp. 402-406. Note. Thierry de Chartres et Nicolas de Cues, Reviews des Sciences Philosophiques et Théologiques, Troisima ANNE AQT, pp. 525-531, sur les petites oscillations de un corps flottant, Journal de Mathe Mathiques Pures et Appliques, Volume 7, Sixième Série, pp. 1 to 84. Le Temps selon les Philosophes Hellenus, Part 2. Review de Philosophie, Volume 19, pp. 5 to 24, 128 to 145. Roger Bacon et Laura Duvide, in A.G. Little, Roger Bacon Essays, Oxford, at the Clarendon Press. Quelk's Reflections sur la science allemande, Revue des deux mondes, volume, 25, pp. 657-686. L'Optique de Malabranche, Revue de Metaphysique et de Morale, volume, 23, no. 1, pp. 37-91. Do Heme's Mathematics Papers from NUMDAM Works in English Translation Do Heme, Pierre, Thermodynamics and Chemistry, a non-mathematical treatise for chemists and students of chemistry, New York, London, J. Wiley and Sons, Chapman and Hall, OCLC 3383130. Retrieved 31 August 2011. Duheim, Pierre. The Aim and Structure of Physical Theory. Princeton. Princeton University Press. 2nd, ed. 1991. Physical Theory and Experiment. In Herbert Fayle and May Brodbeck. Readings in the Philosophy of Science. New York. Appleton Century Crafts, Inc., 1953, pp. 235-252. Duheim, Pierre. To Save the Phenomena, an essay on the idea of physical theory from Plato to Galileo. Chicago, University of Chicago Press.
OCLC 681,213,472, Duheim, Pierre, Medieval Cosmology, Theories of Infinity, Place, Time, Void, and the Plurality of Worlds, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, ISBN 978-0-226-169224-4, OCLC 712044683, Duheim, Pierre, The Physicist as Artist, The Landscapes of Pierre Duheim, Edinburgh, Scottish Academic Press. ISBN 0707305349, Duheim, Pierre, Logical Examination of Physical Theory, Synthesis, Volume, 83, No, 2, pp. 183-188, Duheim, Pierre, Research on the History of Physical Theories, Synthesis, Volume, 83, No, 2, pp. 189-200, Duheim, Pierre, German Science, La Salle, Il, Open Court, ISBN 0812691245, Duheim, Pierre, The Origins of Statics The Sources of Physical Theory, Dordrecht, Springer Netherlands, ISBN 9789401137300, retrieved the 11th of August 2014, Duheim, Pierre, Essays in the History and Philosophy of Science, Indianapolis, Hackett Pub, Co., ISBN 9780872203082, OCLC 33968944, Duheim, Pierre, Commentary on the Principles of Thermodynamics by Pierre Duheim, Dordrecht, New York. Springer, ISBN 9789400703117, OCLC 733543752, Articles, Physics and Metaphysics, Physics of a Believer, Articles contributed to the 1912 Catholic Encyclopedia History of Physics, Pierre de Maricourt, Jordan Erston Amour, Nicole Osmer, Albert of Saxony, Thierry of Freiburg, Jean de Saxe. Note, the above bibliography is not exhaustive. See his complete primary sources and secondary sources at the Duheim entry of the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Bibliography, Dykes to Hewish, E.J., The Origins of Classical Mechanics from Aristotle to Newton, in M. Clargett. Critical Problems in the History of Science, pp. 163-184, University of Wisconsin Press, Henschel, Klaus, Die Correspondence du He Mac, Zur Modlile Ballardenheit, von Wissenschaftsgeschichte, Annals of Science, 73-91, Loewinger, Armand, The Methodology of Pierre Duheim, Columbia University Press, Martin, N.D., Pierre Duheim, Philosophy and History in the Work of a Believing Physicist, ISBN 9780812691603, Miller, Donald G., Pierre Duheim, in Gillespie, Charles, Dictionary of Scientific Biography 3, New York, Scribner and American Council of Learned Societies, pp. 225 to 233, ISBN 9780684101149, Moody, Ernest A., Galileo and Avampace, The Dynamics of the Leaning Tower Experiment, Journal of the History of Ideas 12, 375 to 422, DOI 10.2307-2707752, Moody, Ernest A., Galileo and his Precursors, in C.L., Golino, ed., Galileo Reappraised, Berkeley, 
University of California Press, 23-43, Martin, N.D., Pierre Duhem, Philosophy and History in the Work of a Believing Physicist, ISBN 9780812691603, Needham, Paul, Pierre Duhem, Dictionary of Scientific Biography, Picard, Emile, La Vie et l'Oeuvre de Pierre Duhem, in Discours et Melanges, Paris, Gauthier Villiers, Stoffel, Jean-Francois, Stanley L., Jackie, Pierre Duhem et ses doctorands, Bibliographie de la littérature primaire et secondaire, Centre Interfaculté d'études en histoire des sciences, p. 325, ISBN 978-2-930175-003, Stoffel, Jean-François, Jean Ladrier, Le Phénoménalisme Problématique de Pierre Duhem, Brussels, Classe des Lettres, Académie Royale de Belgium, p. 391, ISBN 978-2-8031-0190-0.